Right then, lads, welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal Podcast. My name is Kosi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in all parts of the world. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Welcome back to a brand new video. Arsenal have made their initial bid for Rafinha. Leeds United have received it. We are going to be talking about that according to uh, David Onstein. Freddie Paxton confirming that the fact that Arsenal have made their bid for Rafinha indicates the willingness of Rafinha to join Arsenal Football Club. We'll talk about Fabrizio Romano confirming that the deal for Gabriel Jesus is really now in advanced stages and we expect that announcement in the coming hours. Arsenal's new goalkeeper arrives today for medical as well. Matt Turner will be arriving to do his medical paperwork, uh, you know, contract signings and everything. And I think he will be unveiled very, very soon, uh, probably this week, to join with the, uh, with the rest of the squad for, uh, for, for pre-season. And of course, we'll talk about Yuri Tillemans. According to Divinon Stein, he has said he's a player they appreciate, he's a player they are tracking, he's a player they will not give up on hit that button for me let's get this video to 1000 likes uh also subscribe to the podcast because the podcast is growing as at an amazing rate so please do subscribe to the podcast um it is amazing that we are getting those numbers right at the moment uh and of course if you want the latest around arsenal if you want the latest around uh, your club this is the place for you make sure uh, you make this your home by subscribing and hitting the notification bell as well. Right. Let's get to the content now. Let's start off with um the bid for Rafinha that it w has been widely uh, you know reported by Devin Onstein, but widely and wildly uh, spoken about by a couple of sources. Now, the first confirmation came fr coming from uh, David Onstein confirming that Arsenal have sent in their own uh, their initial official bid for Rafinha to Leeds United. Talks have been ongoing very well, very, very closely and very, uh, you know, positively between Arsenal and Leeds United. And, uh, and at any time, Leeds United were expecting Arsenal to make a formal offer for the player. Now, yesterday in the evening, just like I reported that the next three dandies for Arsenal are going to be Gabriel Jesus, Rafinha and Yuri Tillemans. It was confirmed by David Stein, the man himself, the super journalist, that Arsenal sent in their initial offer. However, David Onstein also confirmed that the offer was a little bit, actually, was wide of the mark. It was below, um, it, it was below uh, the valuation of, um, of, of leads in you know in, you know for Rafinha actually quoting him he said Arsenal made their formal offer tonight for Rafinha after notifying Leeds United of their intention it is it, it allegedly falls short of Leeds valuation and is expected to be rejected but you know for me listen lads the biggest the biggest point here is that Arsenal made their you know, their bid for Rafinha that changes every Thing in this deal. Now we are going to talk about um, a couple of sources confirming that you know Barcelona are still favourites and, and and things like this, um, and talking about all that crap. But what we know now is that there is no other club that has made a bid for Rafinha. The same thing with Gabriel Jesus, the same thing with Yuri Telemans, and the same thing with Lisandro Martinez. Right? All those players that are still trying to track at the moment, no other club has made bids for them it is only and only arsenal at the moment so <clears throat> you know confirming their uh, for uh, confirming that david on stain our initial bid did did go in last night it was below the valuation of leeds united and of course the intent um, uh, the intention now for leeds united is to uh, is to reject it which we do not have problems around. We, no one has problems, uh, you know, around uh, a bit rejected. I mean, the first initial bit is always to test the waters. And working closely with, with George Mendes, you know, for me, guarantees that um, Rafinha now understands Arsenal's interest. And they, you know, the interest of the player have understood that Arsenal are now really serious about signing him i wanted that initial bid to go in i wanted that initial offer uh to go in we do not know at the moment how much money arsenal tabled on the table for it you know arsenal crazy they can they can they can table 15 million euros for a player valued at around 65 they can do that but for me what i wanted lads is for us not to make that uh you know interest concrete with a bid and it has just happened look 
So, uh, David Unstein, well done, my bro you know, uh, my man, uh, confirming that. Now, also moving on to what uh, is being said elsewhere around the bid, which is very, very interesting. Uh, before we get into the other, you know, we, before we get into the other di dimensions, Gianluca Longari, one of those journalists that I really, really love, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, transfers and uh, and and also, um, <coughs> you know. A general update uh, around you know football uh, says the Rafinha situation at the moment. Also, Tottenham Hotspur want uh, the Leeds United winger and are ready to submit an offer fifty plus ten million pounds. That would be sixty million pounds. As they just submitted a fresh bid as per, uh, as per David Stein, Barcelona always first choice, but no agreement with Leeds United. Rafinha hasn't accepted anything yet. Now that is um I mean that is quite uh, look listen <clears throat> that is quite uh combative well, I mean it's a combative I mean I mean it just it just puts everything together doesn't it uh, uh from 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 Gianluca Lungari I mean his own point because I've seen that uh Spurs are also ready to offer 50 million pounds plus 10 million pounds in bonuses that will total to 60 million pounds, right, uh, for the player. And to be honest, if, if you ask me uh, whether I think Tottenham Hotspur are, you know, are, are, are in position to do that, I would say yes, because they have already offered 60 million euros. I think, I, think, I don't know whether euros or pounds uh, for Richarlison, and it was turned down by Everton. Everton are believed to want at least... 65 million euros actually above 65 million euros for uh richardson so if they can get that money because let's say united are saying you have to give us 55 million euros plus an extra 15 million euros in bonuses so if let if you if tottenham can say we're giving you 50 you, you know 50 million euros guaranteed payments and then we will add an extra 10 million euros uh in bonuses I think they they have the you know, the financial resources and um, the strength to sign the player. Now the question for me is, will will Rafinha and his agent join a club that has Human Song, Lucas Moura, Dijan Kulisewski, and Harry Kane? They are looking for game time. They want a club that has uh, you know game time. Of course, we talk about Champions League, like Freddie Paxton uh, talked about it you know yesterday as well. But when you think about the whole, you know, point of live of living Leeds United, one, you want a bigger challenge, you want to uh, a changing, you know, a changing environment, but you also want something big. You want something uh, worth the move. If you move to Arsenal at the moment, this is me being a lawyer for Arsenal. If you move to Arsenal at the moment, we give you Europa League football, which is um kind of uh, an, a downgrade to Champions League football, which you would get from Barcelona, uh, Chelsea, and uh, and Spurs. But apart from that, we also give you the opportunity to play game week in, game week up. Because at Arsenal, we do not have a player better than Rafinha. At Spurs, you could argue. I mean, it's not that, it's, it's not even a conversation. Human song, <laughs> you cannot displace human song. And this, uh, and that's by the fact that he plays on the left hand side of the midfield. Uh, it's going to be a, a huge battle between Rafinha and Dijan Kulusevski. Kulusevski has done well for Spurs, and I think he's um, uh, already in, uh, has already met it into uh, the favourites of, uh, of 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 Spurs, of Spurs players uh, and Antonio Conte. So it's going to be a tough one. It's not going to be an easy one. Like we're going to discuss, you know, uh, in the later parts of the video, it's not an easy deal. We all thought it was going to be easy. We all thought Arsenal are going to, um, you know, find. Uh, it's very, very comfortable, but it's not going to be that easy. So, and, and another bid is being prepared by Tottenham Hotspur after Arsenal made their initial bid for, um, you know, for the player, according to Gianluca Lungari. Now, David Onstein, Barcelona uh, believed to be Rafinha's preferred destination amid Arsenal's bid. But Chelsea are said to be their second, you know, his second preferred destination. Arsenal and Spurs would come after terry flayers quoting david onstein thank you so much terry now there th th there you have it priorities right priorities it's a game of priorities and of course it happens it 100 happens at times you have a player who wants to play for you but you don't 
the, the you're not the first option. It happened to us with the uh, with Duzan Blahovic in January. We wanted Duzan, and and Duzan was open to moving to Arsenal and abroad, but we were never the first option, right? We were. It was always Juve. It was always Juve. And if if Juve said we do not have the money to pay to Fiorentina or we cannot structure a deal uh, between us and Fio, then Arsenal could have signed um, uh, uh, Dusan Blahovic because he was always going to move in January. That was confirmed. He was always going to uh, you know move to a bigger club than Fiorentina, and we are. But the priority, the order of priorities was he wants either Juve or another club. Right, and he never closed the doors to Arsenal, but he never widely opened them to Arsenal as you know uh, as priorities. Now it is the same, uh, you know, it is the same, uh, it's the same situation being reported by David Stein around Rafinha. He would be very open to moving to Spurs, Arsenal, and wherever. And just like Freddie Paxton said, the moment a team bids for a player, that means the player is willing to move to the club, right? I'll give you an example of what's happening with uh, Manchester United and Frankie De Jong. You, you know, United know that if they bid for De Jong, they can easily convince him with Eric Ten Hag. That, that is it. Otherwise, there is no point in, you know, negotiating a 100 million deal, a 70 million deal for Rafinha, and then personal terms break down. And, and personal terms break down the deal. Player says, I don't want to join you. I mean, even if you're giving me 100k per week, 200k per week, I don't want to play for you. I'd rather stay at Leeds. We, we've had these uh, situations where a player says, I'd rather stay at Fiorentina than join Arsenal, right? We, we've had those situations, haven't we? So the moment a, you know, a, a club goes on to uh, an advanced stage to make a bid, it means the player and, and the player's camp have told them the deal would be okay, but you're not the priority. Even if you're not the priority, a deal would be okay. So, uh, David Einstein also confirming the order of priorities uh, in this one. Uh, I mean, that is. I, I mean, I, I'm okay with that, honestly. To be to, to be uh, to, to be sincere, um, I'm okay with that. Now, uh, this is according to Leeds United uh, Leeds, Leeds Live News. They say while Arsenal's offer for Rafinha isn't thought to be insulting and has substance, it falls significantly short of what Leeds United believe Rafinha is worth, and it will be rejected. Now, news I'm getting today in the morning is that the bid has been rejected. Bid rejected, right? That is confirmed. Freddie Paxton say, uh, said yesterday, 11 hours ago, tonight's bid from Arsenal is a clear indication of recent talks. Rafinha is open to joining Arsenal Football Club. I imagine... Uh, this will somewhat uh, be a game of chess in the coming weeks to, re uh, to reach a fee that all parties are happy with. To be clear, just because he's uh, opening to join Arsenal, it doesn't rule out other clubs, especially when you factor Champions League football into things complicated deal. Freddie Paxton as well says that uh, uh, says uh, this early bit could suggest that Arsenal feel. This is the opportune moment to go for Rafinha while Chelsea debate over targets and Barcelona await sales. The longer it drags, the harder it becomes. Wonderful, 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 wonderful uh, insight there from Freddie Paxton. Wonderful insight from Freddie Paxton. Point one, the moment Arsenal made the bid, it's an indication that we've had talks, positive talks between the us and the players camp. And the player is willing to join us. However, that doesn't rule out the possibility that other clubs are interested. And that doesn't rule out the possibility of joining other clubs. Okay? Very, very wonderful journalist. And then he says uh, that at this moment, the early bid simply means that Arsenal have looked at this at the opportune moment for, to make the bid and sign Rafinha as Barcelona await as uh, await sales and Chelsea debate over transfer priorities right because they're looking at their center back positions they would want to first sign in center backs i think they've lost two center backs or three they're losing Marquez Alonso uh, at left back they're losing um and they're losing Rudiger. They've lost Rudiger to Real Madrid. They've lost Andreas. Uh, They've lost Andre, uh, Andreas, uh, Andreas Christensen to Barcelona. And I think Caesar will stay. I think Caesar Spiqueta will stay. So I think they will need to bring in one or two uh, centre backs. Jules Kounde could be moving to Barcelona. So they need to rework a deal uh, for a centre back. So 
without that going on at Chelsea, you feel ot you know optimistic a little bit that they will first decide on who comes in first. Baka, their situation is worrying absolutely worrying but anyway lads that is it about Rafinha I will not give you any uh, any other updates around uh, the other players in this video it's becoming too long so I'll give you an update around Gabriel Jesus and Yuri Tillemans in the upcoming video hit the like button for me let me see you soon